Hello again, it's Priscilla Batzell in Spring Hill, Florida at Expressionist Art Studio Gallery. That's a 14 by 14 inch canvas that I've added a little bit of my Meaden White Acrylic available on the Amazon link underneath the link tree underneath the video, which I am completely enamored of because of the cells that it makes. So I am going to give myself some on either side of where I'm going to pour my eventual paint so that it's covered because I'd like to do what I call a sweep from corner to corner or a diagonal. Doesn't matter if paint falls over. I'm, I'm reconciled to the fact that I'm going to have to make a mess to make this work. I finally realized that's it. That's how this works. You make a mess or you don't get your Dutch pour. But you get something else cool, which I did get some other cool things, so. I'm not really complaining. Now I'm going to torch to release the bubbles caught in the paint. I'm going to make sure I have a nice heavy layer in the shape of a flying saucer uh, on my canvas down the center. And after I put the first amount down, I am probably going to put a little more down because it looks like it could use it. Come on. Maybe I will put it... Now, I'll just put it right down the center. I'm ready for my mess. <laughs> I've decided that I should probably limit my color palette. I'm going to hit this with a torch really fast. Just to get rid of whatever bubbles are there. And if I, if I still can't make it work, I will use chain or balloons or something. So this is the Chrysocol of Prism Pour from Color Art. This is a Hot Orchid from Color Art. I happen to really like those colors together. It obviously needs its tip cleaned out. I'm going to add a little red which has got iridescent pearl fine in it from golden to make it shimmery. Not sure about the red. Some folk art neon purple. I'm definitely sure about that. I meant to put some black down first so let's put that in now. Maybe I will add a little bit more paint <laughs> Maybe. Okay, we're overabundant in purple. I didn't put any gold in there. I'm going to use my Decor de Americana 24 karat gold with orange in. I really want some yellow or some lighter orange. Yep, I'm going for the lighter orange. Okay, so here goes nothing. I said I would put a little more paint in, so I probably could do that. Just go. I expect this to work. That that's part of my process.
All right, so that's enough of that for now, and that worked okay. I'm thinking that if I throw a little bit of black around things, I might like it, so I'm going to do it. Yeah, I like that better. I know the mead and paint will continue to um, do some interesting things. I'm going to rough up my edge just a little bit. Maybe unify some of that black. Might have to call that pretty good. Although... I like what the orange did and I don't see enough of it. So. Because I Can isn't just the name of my favorite book that I wrote. <laughs> Next to my second favorite book. <laughs> Unlimited Possibilities. Um, it's the reason I do stuff. And if I don't feel like I have everything that I want, I'm going to let myself have some more of what I want. Because the, the colors are pretty. If you want to keep them, you've got to sort of blow straight down and gently spread them out. Otherwise, they sink a little bit. They might come back. You never know because the maiden's good like that. So I like this over here too, but I want a little bit more of that right there. I want some more of that beautiful purple right there. didn't use a lot of gold. Did I use any gold? I don't know if I used any gold. That orange gold didn't become very gold. So the only thing that's drawing my eye are this brownish area and that not too impressive area. So I'm thinking to myself, why not grab the gold that you so crave? Put some of it right in there. I'm fairly confident that it will sell. I like that. Am I done? Do I want a few things to make it look a little more organic? It's pretty organic already. I don't know if that's an appropriate description or not. I have just enough white that's still damp to feather out some edges. And I like making tendrils. So I love you guys. There's over 91,700 of you today. Almost 91,800, which would be really cool. If you're subscribed, thank you for being here. If you're not subscribed, please subscribe. If you have just subscribed, please be welcomed. I like that. I'm pretty happy with that. 
It doesn't keep me from wanting to play with my skewer though. So I'm going to torch to release the bubbles caught in the paint. Add a couple of spirals because they never hurt anybody and I like spirals. And look and see if I'm completely satisfied with that. And I kind of want to add something more. Because every time I use this mead and paint, I want to experiment so bad. And I like adding textures to things. That paint is not supposed to sink. Maybe some of it will stay. Maybe it's really deep right there. So that could be the problem. Maybe the orange will stay. Yep, I'm good with that. A little more down there. Maybe a tiny tadpole up here. And I used the wrong end of the straw, but it didn't have any paint on it. Yay, celebration! Be careful of how you blow, because not only is there spit in your straw, but one blow too many and that nice shape you just had goes away. So let me torch to release the bubbles caught in the paint. And maybe we'll release some patterns. And I will tell you that I have enough time left to tell you that I have Teespring clothing under the video. And if you ever see a design you'd like to see on an Oliver print t-shirt or a pair of leggings or any of the other things that are offered there, all you have to do is ask me. And if you want to check out what's already there, please do that by clicking on any of the items that you see there underneath the video. Also under the video is a link tree where you can find my Amazon link, my pixels.com Fine Art America links, my website, my Facebook groups, Expressionist Art Studio Gallery Appreciation Group for Students. I'm having too much fun. I could play with one of these for a long, long time. And I should zoom in to show you guys the cells. And so I'm just gonna call it a modified Dutch pour because that's basically how I roll. <laughs> I like that orange, but I think I'd like it better. Whoops, I slipped. I think I'd like it better spiraled into that black and that, that orchid, and I do. So let's go down and see this. It's pretty cool. So I love you guys. I want you to take care of yourselves, take care of each other. If you're interested in seeing more videos, I have over 1,800 organized on 18 going on 19 lists. And there by the 100 and topic and genre are also available. If you look for all playlists, creative playlists, by going to my YouTube channel, look on the banner for the PayPal and Patreon icons. If you're in the mood to donate to help keep the studio rolling, you'll be automatically entered in the monthly drawing. The monthly drawing is at the end of the month the last day or two, usually the last one. And uh, you can see what the prizes are included in the exhibition video on the end screen of every video in the last 20 seconds. So what should I tell you? Thank you very much for all the donations that help keep me painting, those of you who donate. I really appreciate it. Those of you who don't donate, you still contribute, and I really appreciate the thumbs up. And when you share my videos and watch them longer and leave me a comment, and watch them when the notifications come out. All those things are very, very helpful to me, and I appreciate them very much. So also under the link tree are Expressionist Art Studio Gallery Fans and Collectors, which is a Facebook group, and you can find albums of edited artworks there from the YouTube videos. If you're interested in making a purchase, please use the hashtag number in, this, in the title of the video you're looking at, and contact me through the email address that's right underneath the link tree. And I also give classes at the house in Spring Hill, Florida, and you can contact me using that same email for that. If you have questions, please ask me. If you have uh, an interest in my paint pouring recipe, it's under the video. If you need to know, I use GAC 800 by Golden in all of my paint mixers, so if I tend to leave them heavy, that's not a problem. They don't crack. Um, what else can I tell you? Other than thank you again. I can't think I can't think that I forgot anything. <laughs> that must be a first. All right, you guys, take care of each other. I told you that. I love you. All of you. 
very much. Thank you for being here. I hope you come again. I post at 3.15 p.m. in the afternoon and on Friday, Saturday, and Sunday nights at 10 p.m. also. So come back soon. Bye for now. Ask me questions if you need to. I'll see you anon. Priscilla out.